Okay, so what is going on guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. So lately my recent, um, my very old actually block print videos have been doing very very well so I thought I'd come back and do another one all about textures and especially in particular animations and how to add them to um, the actual survival game, um, single player or multiplayer. So to start off with I've got this simple pickaxe like shape and I'm thinking I want to make a space scene pickaxe. And um, I'm thinking maybe let's make the blade have like a galaxy texture and then have some animated stars around the outside. Um, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So firstly, I'm going to import a galaxy texture. I found a random one off the internet. Uh, I'm going to grab it. So all I'm going to do, so you come down to your um, import texture bit here, or you can press Control T, um, select a texture, in my case galaxy.png. You can see it appears right there. And I'm just going to grab the parts of the pickaxe. I want to have the galaxy texture. Right click, texture, galaxy.png. Um, and then obviously change the face of it. It's a bit, it's a bit, um, what's the word? Like, um, it's, it's cool. It's cool. I like it. We're also going to remove overlay. If you remember in the last video, select every other cube. And then make them slightly bigger. Ever so slightly. Even that's enough. And you can see. There's no more overlap. Now, I think this, I think this has got a really cool looking look to it. I really like this actually. Um, and now for the handle, I'm just thinking, um, I'm just gonna select it. I'm going to create texture and I'm going to go for texture template. Um, the density, I'm just gonna go, this doesn't need to be too big. Um, and I'm thinking, what about like a per, if we get a purpley color. So you can, if you go to the display section, what does that look like? And then maybe a... Hmm. Then maybe like a gradient? Yeah, that's cool, right? That's cool. Um, then I am also going to have to select that part and just go like that. Da -da 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 -da. Right, let's get, let's get off it. Yeah, that will do. Obviously, it doesn't have to be pretty. It's just there for the video's purpose. So there you go. That's how you import. That's how you make a gradient. Um, so basically, I'll do it again just for you. Um, so I'm just going to reset the colour to, I don't know, white. So one more time, just to show you how to make gradients. I've reset it. Select. I'm going to select my lighter colour. Fill in the whole area. Then I'm going to select my darker colour down here. Go over to this like weird square of like, the weird missing cubes and go to this gradient tool. Um, and then basically with the darker colour or the lighter colour or the completely different colour, whatever it is that you're doing. Um, either grab from the side or the top, but in this case I'm doing it from the bottom. And just drag in the direction you want the gradient. And look at that, you see it goes from dark all the way up to light. Look how amazing that is. Oh, I love it. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. Okay, so next up I'm going to show you how to create... 2d textures because i just want i just want some stars i want some little animated stars so uh, basically really really quickly what you do is you're going to grab a cube and you have to make it 2d it has to be a 2d cube um, otherwise unfortunately it will not work and now you are going to make its own texture it's going to have its own special texture so you're going to create it and you're going to select blank and so the resolution depending on how detailed you want this first bit will be 16 then if you kept it at 16, it'd be a non-moving texture. If you changed this part to 32, it would be um, a 16x16 16 texture, but it would have two frames. Then 40 would be three frames, 64 would be four frames, um, 80 would be um, five frames, um, 96 would be six frames, and so on. Basically, it just needs to be a multiple of 16. I think I want five frames. Should we have five frames? Mm. Let's go for five frames. So I can create it as 16x80, and you can see actually, oh, I do need to I do need to texture it with our special texture. And you can see down here it will actually do something. And if I were to just draw, I don't know, a dot, that dot is going to appear. Let you see the nice shapes are appearing each time. Um, let's of course get rid of that. But um, let's basically I think just start off. So you can control it down here, and. Um, so we're going to start off with the first frame, and I think we want to start off with just a really small, like, ball. So, like, a small, like, outlining star. So, like, if we go for, like, that, maybe, um, one, two, three, four. Now, depending on what you're doing, depending on what model you're doing, um, like, what, uh, texture you're doing, you can do it all in block bench. 
However, if you're doing a more complicated one, you're basically going to need to use something like Photoshop or a free website, is, which is really good to use, it's Pixlr, I'll link it in the description, and uh, that's basically so you can copy each face onto the other frame, and then what you'll need to do, because basically how the animation works, is you slightly adapt the way that it look, the way that the uh, texture, the animation, the item, the finger making looks. So at the start, like on the next frame, I'm literally just going to recreate this. Because it's so simple though, I don't need to copy and paste it. Um, oh, let's go make sure we're on the third frame. Oh, oh, oh dear. There. I so said that's like the same shape as before. You'll notice, look, if I go back, that's the same shape, which is different. And what I will do though, is make it slightly bigger. I think um, maybe add a bit of that and then we'll add some nice color add a bit of add a bit of yellow in it yeah because the yellow is kind of like the main color you want and I'll add a bit of different yellow perfect and so then can you guess what we're going to do again yep we're going to copy the shape again so I'm going to do the rest of these and I'll come back to you in a minute when we'll add it to the pack okay guys and so look at that you can see we've got a star, it's throbbing. Now actually, I'm deciding that's a little bit fast for my liking. I like the colours, I like the way it looks, but it's a little bit fast. So the way to change what it look, how fast it is, this is just in Blockbench, it does not affect what it's like in Minecraft. Go to File, um, if it lets me click, Preferences, oh, Nick. Preferences, Settings, and then if you go to, let's see if I can remember it is, I think it's Preview. Um, yep, it's preview animated texture FPS. So at the minute it's at 5 FPS, so every frame of those is showing at each time. But if I go for maybe 2.5 frames per second, and then press play, you can see it's a bit slower. Now that's still a bit... Mm, that's a bit too slow now, I think. So I'm just going to change it again. And let's go for what, maybe 3.5. Do you think that would be better? Yeah, I like that. I think that looks cool, don't you? Um, and then all that's left to do is just add some more around like the model like you know change the angle change the sizes um and so just put some i'm just going to dot some around the pickaxe and then i'll come back to you and we'll sort displays and we'll add it to a pack so you can actually have it in game like how cool would that be Okay guys, so I have got an animation kind of looking a little bit like this. How I think it just looks cool. And this is of course just an example. You I'm sure all of you guys watching this can make it look way prettier than me. Um I've just sorted out all my display settings though so it looks nice in game. And um, so what you're gonna do firstly to get it actually to a pack to add to a game is firstly you're going to save all three textures and you're gonna go to downloads. Um I've created a special folder. Um, if you don't know how to create this folder, just kind of like look at how I've done it. Um, although most of you watching this will probably know how to make the folder. But I'm going to go to the special animation folder I've made. Um, I'm going to go to Assets, Minecraft, Textures, Block Bench. Save that there. I'm going to save the same ones um, here. Oh, actually, chart save it as a name. I can't save them all as texture. I've made a mistake already. Sorry, everyone makes mistakes. Let's go for it again. Animations, Assets, Minecraft, Textures, Block Bench. I'm just going to save it as star.png and uh, make sure it's saved as a PNG folder. Let's save this as animation. It's going to be all assets, Minecraft. And this basically tells Minecraft like the, the textures are in this folder. If you need to do them here. I'm also going to delete that whilst we're here. Um, and this will just be made as handle.png because it is the handle. Um, let's keep it nice and organized. And finally, this one's already named for us as Galaxy.png. Assets, Minecraft textures block bench there we go so now those are saved you're going to go to export export block item model animation assets minecraft models um custom then we're going to save it in here and we're going to save it as space pickaxe uh, space pickaxe dot json it has to be saved as a dot json that is important now all of that is done, let's go on to actually, we've got to do two more steps until we can add it to the game, and we're going to go right to those now. Okay guys, so in the model folder of my pack, I've also got a folder called item, and then here we've got neverite underscore pickaxe.json, and this basically tells Minecraft, like, what item our space pickaxe should be under, so obviously we want it under as a neverite pickaxe, or any type of pickaxe really. Um, 
And so basically, you can just create any, you can just create a new um, .json file and just, it could literally be stick.json, it could be diamond underscore sword.json, and the format on the inside would be exactly the same. So I'll put this in the description. Um, so all you need to do is space pickaxe right here. I've got a custom space pickaxe. If you wanted to add another another pickaxe, another netherite pickaxe to your pack, just add a comma onto the. Oh, nope, you'd not do that. You'd add a comma there, and you just add another line and change it to I don't know, maybe what what other pickaxe would you want? Maybe um, elephant pickaxe. First thing that comes to my mind, elephant pickaxe, um, and then. You obviously would not put a comma. If you wanted to make a third one, you'd then put another comma. Um, also, bear in mind, we do need to change the custom model data each time. Every single Neverite pickaxe needs to have a different custom model data. You can have the same custom model data as a diamond sword, but it cannot have the same as another Neverite pickaxe, otherwise it will not work. I'm just going to remove this elephant pickaxe part so it doesn't mess up my pack. But um, we can literally control S to save. And finally, one more thing that we've got to do. Right, so in the same place that we have saved our textures, you basically want to go to right click new and then new text document and you're going to rename this to star.png.mcmeta. So whatever your um, animated texture is saved up, whether it's um, space.png, it will be space.png.mcmeta. If it was fire.png, it would be fire.png.mcmeta. I'm going to press enter. Don't worry about this, ignore it, just click yes, and you can see it's changed, and we're going to open it up, and now we've got an empty file. But if I just paste this, simple as that, that is literally all that is done. So basically, um, frame time is how many, um, it's kind of like how many ticks per frame, so it's 20 ticks in a second, um, so 5 ticks, so frame time 5 would be 4 frames a second. So I, I think I'm going to, yeah, I think I'm going to have it as 5 actually, I think I like it as 5. Then, depending on how many frames you want, you're going to have to list them. We only had, correct me if I'm wrong, 5 frames. So I only want to have 5 frames. If you had 10 frames, you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If you had 2 frames, you just be 1, 2. Um, of course, that final number does not have a comma. Um, so I will paste this in the description for you to just copy and paste it straight into your MC Meta um, bit of a section. We're then going to do... Oh, jeez, Louise, what is going on here? What is going on, Chef? What are you doing? You've broken it. Then Control S to save, and just like that, we are good to go. So you go to Downloads, Animation. We've got uh, this is basically our pack, so I'm just going to rename it Pack. Um, I'm then going to oh, hello, hello. Okay, we can't do it in Pack because the model's open in Bookbench. But either way, I'm just going to do Control C, and then going to head to Local Disk, Users, GSU. Um, well, it doesn't. Well, it obviously won't be GSU for you guys because GSU is the name of my that the personal name of my computer. Whatever the personal name of your computer is, um, and then app data, which is of course a hidden folder. Search up um, a thing online if you need to. Um, what's the word? If you need to change that. So then, from app data, you're going to go to roaming dot Minecraft, um, and then resource packs. You're going to Control V the folder into there. Um, right, so we've renamed it to animation.zip and there's one more thing you must do and that's to open it up and create a pack.mc meta. So it's the same way we made it for the animated texture. New, go to text document, pack.mc meta. Open it up. This is what's inside. Again, I'll copy and paste this into the description if I remember. Description, you change that to whatever you want. If you're making a pack, maybe like our official pack or use this to see all our custom models. Um, so it's basically just a little description in game, but that is pretty much it. And so then what you do is you go to it, escape options, resource packs, animation.zip, select it, press done. Right. And so all you need to do for the command is slash give at S, depending on what item you do. We did a never write pickaxe. So I'm just going to type never write underscore, oh, if I could underscore, never write underscore pickaxe. Then you're going to do one of these curly brackets, custom, it will come up as red, but just wait, model data. Do you remember how we were speaking about custom model data and for the space pickaxe it was one? I'm going to set one, then one of these, and look at that. There we have it, an animated texture in Minecraft. Now if we were to, you know, just go into uh, slash game mode survival. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button and subscribe. Any questions, let me know in the comments. Anything not working, let me know in the comments. Join the Discord server. Um, join the Discord server for my Minecraft server. That will also be in the description. Lots of stuff in the description today. I'm going to have to remember to add all of it. But yeah, 
I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.